Alright guys, welcome to your 31st biology video and in this video what I want to do is I want to write out the chemical equations of photosynthesis and also cellular respiration and I want to do this because A, it's important to understand for our biology and B, it is amazing how these two equations, totally different, balance each other out perfectly. So let me go ahead and start with photo. photosynthesis and I'll draw this one right here and then I'll go ahead and write uh, cellular respiration will be down here alright so let's go ahead and make this a balanced equation and in order to do that we need six CO2 molecules so six CO2 and remember the three ingredients a plant needs for photosynthesis is CO2 from the air, water, so let me go draw water, and we need six water molecules, so six H2O, and the last thing that it needs is light from the sun. So I'll just go ahead and write light, and this of course is the energy. So of course whenever a plant has carbon dioxide, which is right here, water, and light energy, what it can do with that is make food. Now plants made food or they make food in the form of sugar so I guess I'll color sugar uh, this kind of purple color with C6H12O6 and they also let me draw my six a little better and they also create oxygen in in order for this to be a balanced equation it would be 6O2 which is oxygen so that's basically what photosynthesis is. This is carbon dioxide of course we know that water and I won't go ahead and label light because I already wrote light and a product of this is of course sugar which is the food that the plant can use for energy and oxygen oxygen alright now if you're saying you know what that's just photosynthesis chemical reaction pretty interesting but it isn't really that amazing well let's go ahead and take a look at cellular respiration. Well, cellular respiration is very similar in that whenever a human needs food, what it does is it takes food such as sugar, which is C6H12O6. So remember I said in the last tutorial that it takes sugar or food and it combines it with oxygen and I'll just go ahead and write 6O2 so six molecules of O2 which is oxygen and whenever it does this it ends up with carbon dioxide which is, of course is a byproduct and what color was my carbon dioxide six CO2 and aside from this we get water which is six H2O and we also get you know energy because that is the goal whenever humans do cellular respiration we need energy for the cells so of course if I go ahead and label all this this is sugar right here we know this is oxygen obviously this is carbon dioxide and you know we probably don't even need to label this but I will this is water right here alright so to recap one last time, in photosynthesis, in order for a plant to make food, what it needs is carbon dioxide, water, and energy from the sun. Now whenever it combines those in its own special way, it makes a sugar, and it has a byproduct of oxygen which it gives us to, to the environment. Now in cellular respiration, the process that people make energy or the cells make energy they take sugar from you know it comes from food and they combine it with oxygen in their bodies and as a byproduct they have carbon dioxide water and the all sought after energy that your cell can use for a bunch of different processes interesting but still I said that this was a very interesting chemical reaction why did I say that well check this out if we look closely we notice that photosynthesis and cellular respiration are the exact opposite of each other in cellular respiration we have oxygen in photosynthesis we end up with oxygen and also same goes for sugar in cellular respiration we start with sugar and we end up with sugar in photosynthesis same thing goes for carbon dioxide photosynthesis right there water 
right there in energy right there so if you get rid of all these lines you can see a little bit more clearly that photosynthesis and cellular respiration are pretty much the exact opposites of each other the way that plant makes food and the way that humans break down food and convert it back to energy that their cells can use the the relationship between photosynthesis and cellular respiration is one of the most beautiful chemical relationships in all of physics or excuse me in all of biology sorry i've been teaching a little bit too many uh, too much physics lately but it is so cool how it's just the opposite of each other and they just balance each other so perfectly and that is one of the main reasons that animals and plants and life all around earth can live together so perfectly